The free shipping discount is an easy way to allow your customers to get free shipping. To create a free shipping discount, first click into discounts on the left hand side and then hit create discount near the top right corner. For this video, we're gonna go over the free shipping. So offer free shipping on an order. And you can choose to have it a discount code, which a customer will need to enter at checkout, or you can have it as an automatic discount that will automatically apply to every person's cart. To start, we'll do the discount code that needs to be entered. And you can have requirements for people to get the free shipping. So you could have no requirements. So if they enter this code, they get free shipping no matter what. You could have where they need to purchase a certain amount in dollars or they have to buy a certain number of items. And then for the discount code itself, you can have it apply to all customers, specific customer segments, or just specific customers. For this example, let's do free shipping on orders over 10. We'll just make it simple. And then here you can also select the countries. So generally I wouldn't offer free shipping to anything international just because it's going to get very expensive unless you have them have to spend a large amount. So I'm in the United States so I'm just going to select the United States for this. And then you could also exclude shipping rates over a certain amount. So if you don't exclude anything, your customer will be able to select any shipping rate that they want. So they might be able to select the more expensive ones. You could put fine print on the discount that even if they selected other ones, maybe it would only ship the standard or the cheapest one if they use the free shipping, but you can just exclude the other ones just to make it easier. So on my website, I have options that cost 317, 747, and 747. So I'm just gonna show if I did not select this, to exclude anything that someone could get any of those for free. So minimum purchase requirement, since I'm just gonna, in this example, do one that they have to spend over 10, or at least 10, I'm gonna put 10, and it says apply to all products. So it's not any specific products, it can be anything. I'm gonna leave it all customers. Here, maximum discount uses, you could have it where the discount can only be used a number of times in total, and then it cannot be used anymore. And you can also limit it once per customer if you want. You can also select both of these if you want to. I'm not gonna have either select in this video. And then combinations, you can choose to let this be combined with product discounts or order discounts. You cannot combine shipping discounts with other shipping discounts, because if you give free shipping, you can't really give free shipping again on top of it. Active dates, you can set a start date and an end date. Let's say this is just a one day promotion or discount. You could have it start at the start of a day and end at the end of that same day. So I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna show if I enter this discount here. See, is letting people select any of these as free. So be careful with that. So I wouldn't want to have to ship everything UPS ground for free, especially if I was doing a $10 order. Now maybe you're making someone spend enough that you basically want them to be able to select priority mail or UPS ground or something for free, then you can do that. But just make sure you have the discount set up correctly in the way that you want it. So if I go in here and I change it where the shipping rates are excluded if there's over a certain amount. So Let's say I only want it to apply to my one that is $3.17. I'll save that. I'll go back, I'll refresh this page. I have scrolled back down and now it is only showing that $3.17 one as free. And I do wanna say up here, this is just a fake address. So just ignore that address. It means nothing, I just put in a fake one. That way it would pull out some shipping options. And then to get these discounts to pop up, just remember the customer would have needed to enter it over here and would have needed to hit apply. So I'm gonna get rid of this discount because I'm gonna show you an automatic discount now. First, before we create the automatic discount, I do wanna show that if you want to have this discount automatically applied, you can send your customers a shareable link. So if you go in the promote shareable link, if you have some customer click through to your website from this link that you shared, then that discount code will be applied in their cart already. Okay, now onto the automatic discount. So the automatic discount, we're gonna go into free shipping here. The automatic discount is one that's automatically applied to everyone's cart. And for this one, let's say free shipping with five item purchase. So let's say we want to make this that someone would get free shipping if they buy five items or more. And then countries, I only want to offer this in the United States. Again, just set that up how you want. You can add other countries if you want to. This availability is saying if I have a physical retail store, I could have this discount apply there. I'm not gonna worry about that in this example. We're gonna focus on online. And then minimum purchase amount, 
we're not doing that so we're going to go down to minimum quantity of items so we're going to select that and we decided to do five it's saying applies to all products so it's on a specific collection it can be combined with other discounts i'm going to go over this in a different video just so all these aren't long and then i'm not going to worry about the start or end date so i'm going to hit save discount and this will automatically apply so i'm going to go to the cart and I'm actually gonna add four more items. So we have five items in the cart. So I've come back to my cart now that I have five items added and it has automatically applied. So here's the free shipping with five item purchase. And then over here in the shipping, it is showing actually all of them for free. So here's where I messed up. See, I only wanted the first class one offer for free. So I need to go back and we need to make sure we exclude over a certain amount. So I only want that 317. So I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna go back and check out and refresh the page. So now I have five items in my cart. I actually changed them out because my website was set up where if someone spent over 30, they got free shipping. So I made it so the total was below free shipping so we could see this coupon work. But it's showing here free shipping with five item purchase. It's showing the 317 crossed out and it's free. And then because this only works for shipping options that are 317 or lower, it's only showing the first class mail as free. Now first class mail doesn't actually exist anymore. It's now called ground advantage. But when I ran this website, it was first class mail. I do want to say if you have multiple automatic coupons that are all active and they are not set to combine, it will choose the best one for the customer. So if I had one that would save them more than 317, it wouldn't let them all combine. And so you have to be careful with that because it can be confusing for your customer if you're saying, hey, you can get free shipping this weekend. And if you have another automatic coupon that is generally better than that free shipping, they might not see free shipping and they'll think that they should be able to combine them. Now you can make it that they can be combined, but then make sure you know what discounts are all going to be coming off on orders because you don't want to be giving way too large of discounts discounts than your business can afford. But in another video, I will go over combining the discounts and I'll go over different scenarios for combining the discounts.